I, I, I did today's uh, presentation for you, Chef AJ, because, because of the fact that you get a lot of very interesting guests that have different opinions. And you know, I, I show, I'm sure there's reasons for their opinions, but some of the times uh, what they say disturbs you. You know, in general, there are, there are people I know that you invite who have real important things to share with your audience. That's why you do it, is you want your, your audience to be well informed. But <clears throat> sometimes they say things that, you know, don't quite make sense to you or contrary to what I've been trying to tell you. And, um, you know, since I don't have the opportunity to directly talk to them, and I, I you know, sometimes I'd rather, sometimes I'd rather not. Uh, you know, I you, you mentioned to me that they're making recommendations that disturb you personally and also for your audience, such as you need to eat fat. And and the way that you got so thin and you know, so I don't know whether lovely is the right word, you got your you got your appearance all straightened out the way you wanted it, was you gave up the fats and it it basically saved you uh, what about a decade or so ago. And so if somebody turns around and tells you you have to eat fat and you're doing the wrong thing. You're going to get brain damaged and, you know, have a heart attack or whatever. I know it bothers you. It, it just so happens that most of these people who are giving this message happen to sell these fats themselves in their store. Uh, they're selling you essential fatty acids. And, <clears throat> and I, you, you come to me and you ask me what I think about it. And I've written what I think about it. And, you know, I tell you that I don't think it's a good idea. And I really think the, the public is being taken by these, quote, well-meaning people who uh, cherry-pick the literature. And they generally, you know, it's just like in politics. You listen to those you want, who have uh, opinions are favorable to you. And so uh, people who support this point of view are looking to, uh, to quote, scientists who, um, who by themselves support supplements, too, for various reasons, including financial ones. And there's a lot of that out there. I mean, the the funding of a source is one of the most important things I look at because I know what's going to be said. And what I try and do is I try and uh, present for you uh, some basic understandings and some uh, overall assessments of the messages that they are trying to give you. And yeah, I present it for you and, and like I say, a, a easy to understand manner, but also in the bottom right hand corner of each every slide that I that I make, or at least the ones that are appropriate, I always put the scientific references there. And in most cases, these scientific papers are available to you for free. Uh, you just, you know, just put in Google and you and put in the, the address and, and read the paper yourself. You know, it, some of them are a little complicated, but the general gist of what's being said can be can be picked up from reading the paper, regardless of your your education level or your interests. So I, what I'd like to do is give you a challenging second opinion, which I think ought to be your first opinion. And uh, then, you know, we'll, we'll give the, uh, the opponents every opportunity to prove uh, that their opinion is more right, more important, and so on. But I don't think so. You know, some of the things I've told you about fats that you need to know is uh, the fat you eat is the fat you wear. You know, after you use a little bit of fat to, to uh, build some cell membranes and hormones and Few other things that fats are used for not much just a tiny amount that extra fat has to go someplace you know i realize some of it ends up uh, going through your intestinal tract and you see the oily sheen in the toilet from that fat going through and you know some of the fat ends up on your skin and you get greasy skin and greasy hair and of course bacteria if it can feed off of the this oil it loves of bacteria bacteria love oil especially the ones that make pimples and so you get a pimply face, and you get greasy skin and greasy hair. But the, most of the oil is destined to be stored as the metabolic dollar for when no food is available. But, you know, that, that doesn't come for us very often at all. So you end up just accumulating the storage and over and over and over again until you get to the point where your clothes don't fit anymore. And you really don't look the way you want to look. And so that, that's what happens when you get the wrong message. And, it's, it's particularly troublesome when people recommend, you know, I, I just talked to you about general fats, you know, animal fats, manufactured fats, uh, essential fats, and so on. They all get stored and end up in the toilet and on your skin and so on. But <clears throat> there's this whole um, category of fats that they call essential fats that, that you really do need. 
and uh, you get, should get them from plants. That's where you should get them from. But uh, as I say, as, as a, a back end, by and large, most of these people who are giving you this message are selling omega-3 fats. In fact, you, you heard me uh, a few months ago, uh, AJ, I got into a, the real truth about health, the seminar I gave. I got into a discussion with a, a fellow that believed in, in eating salmon and also in uh, taking essential fatty acids. And I worked really hard to get this man to admit that. First of all, as far as the salmon goes, I got really, really upset about that. I said, you got to stop doing this. The salmon are almost gone. You know, and uh, and then after I kept needling him, needling him. Well, first, first what I did is I said, he wanted to know how you could tell whether someone was obese or not. Mice and so on. And I didn't mean it. You know, I didn't mean it this way. But I said to this this man, I said, and he was, he was a generous sized man to say the least. I said, well, you could take off all your clothes and look in the mirror you could, to find obesity. Anyway, I finally got him to admit it. He admitted that's a big part of his practice was selling these supplements. You know, they're embarrassed and they ought to be uh, for delivering a message that's financially to their best interest and particularly one that's wrong and uh, it hurts, hurts your listening audience.